In the year 306, Constantine the Great became Roman Emperor, and in 313, he along with Galerius issued the Edict of Milan, an edict tolerating all religions. That edict paved the way for the blending of all the various beliefs, including Christianity. Defining his own faith, Constantine could have the best, or should we say the worst, of both the pagan and Christian worlds. By way of syncretism, the worship of the sun gods, including Baal, Mithra, Apollo, and Helios, all of which had come to be recognized as Deus Sol Invictus, God the Invincible Son, could easily be redefined as Christianity, thereby encompassing all the various beliefs of the entire empire. It was not the faith in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the biblical Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, but rather a faith in the Lord of the universe, the one supreme God. Today, the long-standing theological debate continues. Should Constantine be commended as a Christian or condemned as an imposter? Had he truly become a Christian or was he using Christianity as a political tool? There are persuasive arguments on both sides, but is the proper question being asked? While there is no doubt that Constantine embraced the faith that was presented by his advisors as Christianity, a better question would be, is the Christianity that was presented to him and that was practiced by him actually the faith of Christ as described in the Bible? The answer to that question is emphatically no, and there is little debate among educated theologians. They are fully aware of the syncretism that took place as a result of pagan influence. The Bible tells us that God is the judge, that he putteth down one and setteth up another. While we have no authority to pronounce final judgment upon Constantine, we do have the authority and the mandate to judge the religion that he advanced, a compromised Christianity abounding with pagan tradition. Today, that same compromised Christianity continues to abound with pagan tradition. While the educated theologians are fully aware of that fact, the average Christian has no idea and the theologians will go to every link to keep people from finding out. Why? It is because they have no explanation or excuse for what they teach. Join me here each week as those elements of compromise are exposed one by one. You can find a complete list of archives by searching Richard Reeves on the World Net Daily internet site. I'd also like to invite you to visit my website, www.toolong.com. Earnestly contending for the faith once delivered to the saints, I'm Richard Reeves with Just the Facts.